Welcome everybody. It is Crypto Moose and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. What we're going to do on this episode is go over my top 10 Cardano projects. So we're going to get into 10 tokens that I think are pretty fantastic and we'll get into all that and more. So if you do get something out of this video, if you can smash a like button, also subscribe. And if you want, you could even ask questions down below. Um, actually, this episode idea came out of a comment. Someone said, hey, why don't you mention your top 10 cryptos? And that's what we're doing. So it's time to get loose. Um, I'm going to share the screen and we're, and we're also going to use uh, Cardano Cube. So um, definitely feel free to go to Cardano Cube. You can check out, um, you know, project details and descriptions um, if you go there as well. So right now we are... March 2nd of 2024. Again, March 2nd of 2024. So if the prices are different when you're watching this, um, that's because I recorded two days before the release of this video. Um, so Bitcoin is at 61,700. So, you know, let's just call it 62,000. We're, we're pretty close. Um, Ethereum, 3,500 roughly. USDT, a buck. So not de-pegging, good. Uh, BNB, 410 roughly, Solana 130, XRP, who cares, USDC, uh, not a dollar, but pretty close, um, and Cardano, 73 cents, so we haven't even done, um, I, I did predict that, but we haven't talked about that much, Dogecoin, doing really well, up like 65, 70% on the week, and then number 10 is AVAX at $45 roughly, so that's where we're at, okay, so out of all these cryptocurrencies, uh, we're gonna focus our attention on Cardano's blockchain. So Cardano is a blockchain in which you can build decentralized applications, you can build projects on top of. So which games, which DeFi projects, which you know marketplaces do I like? Um, we're gonna get into a variety of them in this video. So number one, my number one crypto holding, and I have a video coming out this week sharing all that and more. The number one project, so if you guys want to take note, this is pick number one, it's going to be Kopi, Cornucopias. Cornucopias is fantastic. I like the community, the team, and I think we're set to explode. Um, so if I look up Kopi here, let's see the price. I haven't even checked it in six minutes, which is a lot for the moose. So if we take a look, we're at seven cents, let's call it, okay? Um, perhaps this is where we start to run up I really think so. Um, I believe I'm doing a crypto, um, a Kopi price prediction as well this week. So have we bottomed? I do not know, but I I believe, and again, nothing in this video, um, I should mention that, nothing in this video should be taken as financial advice. Invest at your own risk. I'm not telling you to pick up any of these tokens. Just sharing with you what I think are the best on Cardano. Um, in fact, most of these are in my portfolio. So Kopi is my personal number one position, not telling you to buy any, but right now this project is a AAA level game. Rob and Josh, they do YouTube videos. It's called Kopi Cafe. Check those out if you want. If you guys go to the website here, they have a, they have a stunning um, look to the website. So it looks even better in person, but um, it's an MMO RPG where player driven economies in a thirst for adventure rule the bubble verse. Develop your skills as a trader, artisan, or entrepreneur as you explore the cornucopian land masses enclosed in floating domes um, thousands of meters high. So it's this whole world. And when I think about crypto, um, when I think about the metaverse and crypto gaming as a whole, if you want to have a Cardano gaming position, you're going to want to have cornucopias because quite frankly, nothing else comes even close to cornucopias. So I think in my opinion, cornucopias is the way to go. And you can see the bubble jets flying around there. So the racing game has already come out and the entire game will be out before you know it. There's a node sale, um, you know, there's so much happening. And the fact is the market cap is so low. So I'm gonna be doing a price prediction real soon, but we're at like a 60 mil market cap. This thing could absolutely fly, I'm waiting for it. So that's number one. Number two, this is going to be a DeFi play. So that's going to be Meld. And Meld is simply spectacular. 
It's cheap, huge opportunity. Again, a $66 million market cap. That means that we have a long ways to go. And with MELD, self-reporting circulation, already at 94% roughly. And look at this, mega opportunity. So this thing came out hot throughout the ISPO. Really, this token has always been like a couple of pennies. Um, so it's been a penny, two pennies. You've had a long time. It looks like I, I was in the ISPO. So yeah, like it's it's just been easier and better to get over the years uh, with Meld. So Meld, um, the idea of Meld is you have an all-in-one app in a desktop app. I'm going to show you in a minute here. And you can do all of your crypto DeFi lending and borrowing. Um, so you can have your crypto in one on one layer, like a layer one, Meld is a layer one, and you can hold in a non-custodial way, meaning you own your private keys, so you could even connect something like a hardware wallet, and what you can do is you can do lending, borrowing, staking, do all your crypto banking with this. So this is Meld.com. If you wanna check out Meld, check it out. Meld, uh, the blockchain built for DeFi. So Meld is a non-custodial DeFi protocol for Web3 Finance, providing cross-chain lending borrowing and staking on the Meld blockchain, supporting the six leading blockchains as well as integrated fiat. So fiat is supposed to come, I don't know when, but right now the crypto stuff looks phenomenal. So I'm gonna log in. Um, so you can imagine Meld's in the middle. You have Bitcoin, Ethereum, Cardano, AVAX, all these blockchains, and you connect to Meld and you do your banking. So interoperability is going to be the big, the big catalyst for you know, crypto moving in the direction that we want. So I think that's gonna be pretty dope. Um, so this is what it looks like. Uh, I have a video showing you guys how to set up a wallet. It's pretty straightforward. So this is the desktop version. There's a mobile app, it's going to come out soon. Um, I don't know when, but um, I do have a special interview coming out mid-March. Um, but yeah, you can stake. Uh, it's hard to get into the stake pools, but ultimately the price of the token's cheap. So this is my wallet for Meld. Um, yeah, I got, I got like 2,200 USD in meld, not bad. Um, I want to get into more pools. I check them like every day, but they're all full. So comment down below if you've been having a hard time getting into meld. Um, and by the way, the order of these tokens are an order of what I own and what I deem most valuable. So Kopi's number one meld, then we'll get into number three. Um, so I'm trying to hit on different things, but these are the top 10 that I think are on Cardano. Um, and if I were to invest into, theoretically. Um, so yeah, like there's a lot. So you can see Kopi, uh, Cardano, you know, you'll be able to connect Ethereum, Bitcoin, uh, Matic, all that and more. You might even be able to now. Um, I just haven't spent all the time in the world on it. So check it out. Um, you guys can also go to Cardano Cube. So this would fall, I believe, over here. Um, Cody, where would it be? It's not, I, I don't think it's under DeFi. Here's Crypto Moose. So if you guys look under education, Crypto Moose is right here. So that's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I remember making that. So if you guys want to check out like uh, the link tree, it's all here as well. So there we go, Crypto Moose, baby. Time to get loose. Uh, yeah, comment down below if you guys hold any meld. So anyways, it's somewhere on here. If you guys go to Cardano Cube, explore projects, it's probably under here somewhere. So, um, here we can also go to, this would be a good idea. So go to the main website. You can see the top gainers as well. So based on seven day, you got 43% for Yam4. Not, we're not talking about that, but there are a couple of pretty dope projects here. Um, so trending, here's Meld. Meld's up 20% on the week. Uh, we're gonna get into a few of these. So Meld, um, you can securely lend and borrow both crypto and fiat currencies with ease and stake your meld tokens for APY, lending and borrowing. So we've gone over what it is. Um, this is cool too, Deck Center. We're going to talk about it in the list, but that's number two. Not much more I can say about meld. I'm just a big fan. So number three, we might as well use this. We're going to talk about SNEC, okay? So we'll get into Cardano Cube as well. SNEC is going to be your Cardano meme token. There is nothing even close to SNEC, okay? When it comes to SNEC, honestly, SNEC may, in fact, be Cardano's number one project. Um, they have an energy drink. 
they're crushing it with the memes. And right now, I mean, look at these memes. Like, it's an absolute rocket ship. So, Snack's doing good. Like, if Snack was in your house, it would, it would, it would take over. Like, it wouldn't be your dad sitting at the head table. It'd be Snack. Like, like, where's my dinner? Like, where's my dinner? We're taking over. So, definitely, Snack's not here to take part. Snack is here to take over. Um, on the month, sixty percent. On the year, a thousand percent, which is crazy. So, circulating supply. 95% of these tokens are already out there. Um, right now, again, we are March 2nd, 2024. Bitcoin pumped, ETH pumped, then it's the memes, and then it's all the alt. So memes are just kind of taking crypto by storm. So, you know, when you take a look at the memes in general, so SNEC is, what, not even a penny. Um, you know, there, there's a large supply. But if you go to under categories on coin market cap. We're going to find the memes, so under M. So go under memes. Where is it? Dogecoin is crushing by market cap 20 bill. So congrats to the Dogecoin millionaire guy. Bonk's doing all right. Pepe, not bad. Um, we will see Snack here soon. So Snack, I've been saying it's a top 10. You know, Snack, Snack could probably go to a billion in market cap. Um, I mean, it's crazy to, to think. Like, Snack was way under here. And I remember for the first time, it went that high. But they're, they're, they're real players, you know, that hold Snack. So there's, there's Ponky. I have a little bit of that. It's not doing the best. But, like, Snack is crushing it. And, you know, you talk about a meme play for Cardano, it's Snack. Okay, let's get into storage. So one big thing that we're going to see, and you guys all know it, the new oil is data. So behind me, uh, somewhere behind me, it's over there more, I've got a server. On there, I've got data for videos, uh, whether it be some of these videos and more. Data is the new oil. People want to own their data, and perhaps we can do that in a decentralized fashion. That's where Iagon comes in. So we're gonna find out what the price of Iagon is. And by the way, talk about a token that I should have bought and held on, should have bought more of. So I bought some back here, way before a penny, sold at like six cents. This thing has gone through the roof. So I took like 300 USD, turned it into like three grand, and then I like effed it up. I, I, I could have had like 30 grand at least. Oh well. Um, but yeah, this thing is an absolute monster. If we go to the website, so I'll just make sure that we're on the right sites here. Um, so you guys can check it out. I will have links in the description for you to find some of these links. So this is Iagon, and Iagon is decentralized storage. So Iagon is bridging decentralization with compliance for Web3. So effectively, you can connect your wallet, something like a NAMI, and then you can upload files, you pay a subscription. Instead of using Google where they take your, your data and you don't really own it anymore, well, with decentralized storage, you, you kind of protect your, your data that you have. So it's just a nice way because it's all decentralized. Um, yeah, it's, it, it's a fantastic idea. And I think this and Filecoin, Filecoin, if we take a look, that's Ethereum's project. And that's what I was getting at a long time ago. I do own, I, I still have like a little bit of Iagon. I got like a grand, which is still pretty cool. But look at Filecoin. Look at the price of this thing at the peak. You're talking about 138 bucks. Like this thing crashed. And uh, one thing I wanna to mention too is when you're a moose, you think outside the box, okay? So people like, let's say LeBron James, he's talented, right? He can do things we can't do. He jumps really high. He's very fast. He's super tall. Like I'm. I'm 5'10", 5'11". He's like 6'8". Good basketball player. Same with Michael Jordan, right? They worked hard. They're also super talented. So we can't play basketball, a lot of us. Now, some of you could be like a moose. And we can't do what others can do, but we can see things that others can't see. So talented people, they do things we can't do. Geniuses slash mooses, we can do things other people... We can see things other people can't see. 
So, Filecoin, not financial advice, but it's a good opportunity in my opinion. If you're holding ETH, or, oh, you pick this, you pick this stuff up on BNB. I'm gonna take a note. See, Moose is always on it. So I'm gonna write this down actually. I think Filecoin, pretty smart play. So back to Iagon. Iagon, I think is beautiful. Um, Iagon just has it going on. The roadmap is there. Everything about it is just, quite frankly, it's just sexy. It's sexy. Um, so, you know, subscription manager, all this stuff happening, uh, DAP building around spare compute and storage, 2025, all these things are happening. And I'm just, I'm a big fan of, of Iagon. So you guys comment down below. I know it's a big project. Um, I still have a little bit of Iagon, um, but I should have had more. But again, you don't know. And at the end of the day, um, I assume most of you are looking to pick up these tokens to sell later. And, you know, don't go for the 50X. If you're at a 20X, be happy with that, okay? So whatever you're doing, just understand that even a 50% gain is quite a bit. Um, so we can talk about that more, but that's pick number four. Number five, let's get into a DEX. This is a DEX aggregator. We're gonna get into, what's the ticker? Well, I have it right here. This is Hunt. So we've got, I wonder if I can find the price here, DEX Hunter. I think I got it right, DEX Hunter. So DEX Hunter is a DEX aggregator on Cardano. And I'm gonna to go to the website. And they have a token called Hunt. And I think this thing could do really well. So what a DEX aggregator is, is it will aggregate different DEXs. Basically it's connecting to like MinSwap, Wing Riders, all the DEXs they use, decentralized, um, um, decentralized exchanges. And you are going to pull and get the best price. So I'll show you what that looks like here. I'm just going to open up the app. I don't know why it's not showing on uh, the website here. Hunt token. Well, it is what it is. Probably on Cardano Cube it will show though. So if we get into Dex Hunter, I think this thing's awesome. Um, I don't own any Dex uh, or Hunt right now, but it's the biggest Cardano Dex aggregator for optimal DeFi trading. So again, the word optimal, it's pretty true. Um, you connect your wallet and you pull the best prices. So here I've got my NAMI with the Trezor. And by the way, if you do do swaps right now, you are going to get points for the splash token. So if you look here, um, I got 106 points for splash protocol. So you can get some airdrops by making swaps. You're just gonna go to the top left, connect your wallet, and you can swap, for example, let's say 100 ADA, and you wanna pick up some Hunt, that's how you would do it. And if I do that, right now it's using um, the Exclude Spectrum DEX. So here you can see different DEXs, it's, it's pulling the best prices. So it's gonna do like maybe a couple swaps, but it's at the end of the day, you're saving on fees. So it's really cool, right? Um, I, think, I think this is a, a, a major DEX. It reminds me a lot of the Jupe aggregator. So if you want to pick up some Kopi and be a real man, 100 ETA um, and yeah, you can pick up a thousand Kopi. So, I mean, frick, that, that price point isn't too bad. So here it's using BiFi, Buy Finance. Shout out to those guys. Um, so it's not exclude, it's just Buy Finance. So the other one is just, um, what's the name of the Spectrum? I haven't used it. So anyways, that's how you would swap. And again, it's going to pull the best price for you. And that's a, that's a major thing. So as more people get involved in the crypto space, they're gonna to wanna to get the best prices. You're gonna to wanna to use the best decks. So all these, um, all these decks are gonna do well. It's just that people are gonna use Dex Hunter more. But, right, and, and we've been talking about that is, with crypto, you wanna remember that owning the token you're owning like the granite, right? You're owning the plumbing in which everything's going to be built on top of. And we're seeing that. Now DEXs already have a middleman. And then DEX Hunter might have something in the middle. So what people use in the future may not even be DEX Hunter. It may just be an app.
that will connect to Dex Hunter, then to this, then to that. It's kind of like we're using the internet, but there's so much happening on the back end. We have no idea. We, we don't even, I don't know. Maybe some of you know. So let's hunt, that's number five. Number six, we're getting into an actual deck. So not the dex aggregator, not the middleman of a dex, but we're gonna go to MinSwap. So MinSwap is a decentralized exchange. And with MinSwap, I like it because first off, it's cheap. It's at a 47 mil market cap. And with MinSwap, because it's a dex, by the way, I like the branding. I think the token's pretty cheap. I've been doing well on it. Um, and when V2 comes out, I did a video video on V2. This is probably one of my better videos too, guys. Guys and girls, check it out. So go to the channel, type in MinSwap. I did an awesome video. I think it's awesome. And right here, MinSwap V2 is coming. Cardano's best decks. Guys, check this out because if they pull this off, I think it's going to elevate the user interface, the UI, and it's also going to be something that more people use. So instead of using Dex Hunter, you can just go to MinSwap and use that as well if you want. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. Um, I used to do a lot of yield farming with MinSwap. I got a lot of tutorials, um, but we're going to be switching that out. So go here, uh, make sure you close out of the other DEXs. So when you're connecting to a DEX, close out of your other stuff. I do have my hardware wallet set aside here. So connect your wallet in the top right. We're gonna connect NAMI. I've heard of potential NAMI issues, but the moose is loose. We're not gonna send anything, but we'll connect. So here, um, select your handle, I'll do red cape. So this is um, MinSwap. So if you go to uh, app.minswap.org, this is a DEX. So what a DEX is, to simplify it, it's a decentralized exchange. You can connect your wallet, provide liquidity to pools, and when people swap and use your tokens or the pool's tokens, um, you get rewarded with a little bit of a kick for that. You earn some APY. So that's called yield farming. So you pair like Cardano, typically a stable asset, but we don't have a stable coin. Cardano and Kopi, and you earn a little bit of min or a little bit of Kopi min. Sometimes you earn like multiple tokens. So it's yield farming. It's when you connect to a DEX and you provide liquidity. That's all it is. Um, so that's how you're able, that's how DEXs work, right? Um, you can imagine it's kind of like a bank, except with the bank, it, it's more of a middleman, whereas we get rewarded for owning our tokens more. It gives more power back to the individual. So if we do 100 ADA, and again, maybe we want to swap, get some meld. 100 ADA, meld, boom. That's pretty good. We're gonna look back at this and be like, dude, that's that's like 73 bucks that could turn into four grand. Potentially, potentially. So min swap's nice. Um, if you guys wanna do yield farming, this is where you do it, man. You could zap it in. I have tutorials, so go to the channel. Um, actually here, how to remove, how to zap in. Guys, that's how you yield farm. How to harvest multiple rewards, adding eight a min. I show you guys step by step by step how to stake, how to do it all, man. So that's how you pick up tokens, etc. cetera. Min swap, beauty of a dex. Okay, next it is going to be gens. So this is going to be number seven. And gens, I've heard a lot of good things. Shout out to Scott of the Corn. You were mentioning this to me as well. Just like, hey, check out this project. Um, I kind of like it. I miss the ISPO but it's Genius Yield. So Genius Yield is the all-in-one DeFi platform that combines uh, concentrated liquidity DEX, Genius DEX, with an automated yield optimizer. So it's a yield optimizer. So even if we go through it more here, Genius Yield is an all-in-one DeFi platform that combines concentrated liquidity DEX with an automated yield optimizer, smart liquidity vault, built from the ground up, blah, 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 blah. So in essence, Genius Yield is a tool that can be used with multiple exchanges to gain the best possible profit from yield farming. So if you guys wanna maximize your profit, you can use something like Genius Yield. So let's go to the website. I'm pretty sure I know what the website looks like. Let's go Genius Yield. There we go. 
So make sure you guys are on the right, the right website. Uh, very important. Um, so if you want, use the links down in my description. That's going to save you a lot down the road just to make sure that you're using the right one. There we go. So here you can stake, you can launch the app. So Cardano is a, th a true uh, third generation blockchain with the bespoke design based on peer reviewed research, blah, blah, blah. So why Genius Yield? This is the main uh, part I figured it'd be easier to read. Um, by the way, I do not own any Geni Genius Yield. I still have to do a lot more research, but my intuition tells me that, again, that's what most of this is. I feel like this is a great project. So I do have it as number seven. Um, I don't own any, but if it's something that you like and understand, maybe it's up your alley more. While DeFi provides many investment opportunities, managing capital is both complex and time consuming. Genius Yield is your all-in-one solution to benefit from advanced algorithmic trading strategies and yield optimization opportunities. Our smart liquidity management protocol is intuitive hassle-free and secure. Genius Yield minimizes risk and maximizes profit. So if you're looking for that, um, yeah, you could definitely use it up. So how they do it, again, I have not used this, but we'll launch the app. Um, you know, I I think, I, I just think that this thing down the road could do well, right? So it's one of those projects where, you know, if you want to maximize your profits, you can. So how it works, you guys can read this by the way. So um, if you connect a wallet, might as well do a little wallet connect here. Do a little NAMI. Here, let's say we do 100 ADA, we could swap and get some genius, like Jens tokens it looks like. Can we or can't we? <laughs> Limit market order. So anyways, I'll go through this in a different video, but that is uh, Jen's token, G-E-N-S. And yeah, I have it as number seven. Basically, I, I would cut it off at number five for me personally. So let's get into number eight. That is World Mobile Token, W-M-T. So I do not own any World Mobile Token, but there's a lot of goodness happening with this project. Quite frankly, it's doing well, I believe, on the month, isn't it? Yeah, it's crushing. So this thing's up 40% on the month. It's really having a good month. It's having a good month, but it's a great opportunity. So another thing, when tokens are down all time high, you know, 40, 50%, it's a good opportunity. You don't want to buy when it's $10,000, right? So, you know, this, this thing is a monster. So if we go to the description, actually we'll go to Cardano Cube. It should be up here somewhere. Yeah, World Mobile, let's get into it. So connecting everyone anywhere, the first mobile network owned by the people and built on blockchain. So Stronger Connected, World Mobile was, was founded with a far reaching goal to connect everyone everywhere while advocating for economic freedom and dignity. So um, how can half the world be offline? Simple, traditional mobile networks won't connect um, remote places because it's too expensive and hard to maintain. So places like Africa, I've seen it where they're blowing up World Mobile. Um, this project, right? And if you go here too, uh, most Africans do not have a recognized ID. We're creating digital IDs for every World Mobile user, giving them access to digital banking, education, and healthcare. Our network is built on blockchain technology so everyone can experience decentralized finance, blah, blah, blah. So you can see how this is going to make its way to add value to everyone in the world. That's what blockchain's all about. Bitcoin, right? Anyone can participate in the Bitcoin network and own it. And the longer you own it, the better you're going to do compared to fiat if they keep printing. So Bitcoin in, in blockchain in general because of the decentralization, there's no central authority. It provides the ability for anyone to participate. And that's cool, right? Like, I don't know about you, but I think that's a cool legacy. It's something to take part of. So do I know everything about World Mobile? No, I, quite frankly, I don't know that much. 
So this isn't an infrastructure play. So they're building actual, um, they're building the actual network. So the, these are like infrastructure. Um, this is infrastructure that's going around the world. I can't play these videos. Um, but what do we have here? What did I want to get into? But anyways, that, that's basically it. I just think it's a good project. And if you go to the website, might as well pull that up, World Mobile. World Mobile Token. The website's nice. And I've known about this for a while. Power the unstoppable mobile network. So create a vault. Um, Yeah, I think partnerships was the big one where I was looking at that. So IOHK input output, you got chain link here, guys. Sunday swap, Muesli swap, Wi-Fi. Like this is going to be massive. Like you got chain link connecting with this. I don't know about you, but this is big. This is big. Um so disrupt a, t a trillion dollar telco industry for good. Distribute ownership of network that's changing the world. How uh, WMT powers the world mobile network. World mobile customers pay for calls, texts, and data using local currency creating network revenue. So this thing could be absolutely huge. Um, I have to think about it more. It's just one of those things where I've been thinking about Copia, I've been thinking about Meld, and this is probably gonna be the next one I think of. So I'm taking notes. I got that file, I already wrote down notes for Filecoin BNB. I didn't know that. So better in Ethereum, because it costs $95 to look at your freaking Ethereum wallet. And to transact, you gotta like, ugh, it's crazy. So that's Filecoin, I got World Mobile Token. So even for me, something I might do some more research on. That's what this channel is all about, right? Get you thinking, not telling you what to do. Get out there and research on your own or take my advice, right? Yeah, so this is cool. I, I'm learning more about it. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be a huge World Mobile video coming out soon, that I can assure you. That is number eight. A lot happening there. So number nine, number nine, this one I know about. I know about. Um, I own a couple of these. That is book.io. Book is gonna cook. Is book gonna cook? And is the moose gonna get loose? Absolutely, you guys know that. All time, this thing's been crushing all year, doing well. Um, I got in on the early token price or whatever. I, I, I forget, it was like a, I don't know. I don't know exactly what it was. But I got some book token for sure. So let me go to the website. Book token, so if you guys want to know, it's a marketplace where you can pick up NFTs. So non-fungible tokens, meaning an, a digital asset ID number that represent a book. And they also do audiobooks. So this is, the other big thing is that it's, um, it's on Matic, Cardano, and Ethereum. Might be on others as well at this point. So basically you connect your book and you can read them. So these are real books. So again, like royalties go back to the artist when they sell. You can pick up Moby Dick, Moby Moose. Um, yeah, tons of books, tons of cool things happening. I guess they have the app, eh? Wow. Even with the app, I, I haven't experienced that. But guys, comment down below. Have you tried the app? That sounds cool. It'd be cool to like get the Bible, the Gutenberg Bible on the app and whatnot. That'd be sweet. Oh, Texas. Maybe Moose should go to Texas. Meet Charles. Charles, what up, dude? I got to visit Charles on the ranch. Charles is always talking about fasting in his ranch. Guys, comment down below if you agree. Charles, I, need to, I think you need to fast a bit longer, but, you know, he's the man. Charles is the man. Uh, so, yeah, this thing is an absolute monster. Guys, if we go to JPEG store... Got too many tabs open up here. World Mobile, I'm really digging. Book, I don't own any of them anymore, I don't think. I think I just swapped them for Kopi. Absolute degenerate moose. So if you go here, tons of these should be book. Yeah, some of the top ones, right? 
Um, I know the Gutenberg Bible is in there somewhere. No, it's not. So let's go to book.io or just write book. Gutenberg Bible. Um, if you own one of these, I think you're eligible for an airdrop or something. So this is the first book that they had in its suite, right? So if you own one of these, you'd be doing really well. But that's the thing, man. You got audiobooks. The audiobook is just AI. The one that I had, it's the Alice in Wonderland. In fact, if we go to the Moose's wallet, if you guys want to follow my picks, go to pool.pm, type in tie, dollar sign tie.ada in the top right. These, this is one, this is my Trezor model, Model T. By the way, if you guys want to pick up a Trezor Model T, check out the links down below. Go to the link tree, save up to 25% off. The Trezor, I'm doing a plug. Tangium. Ledger, I don't have a link, but I do like this wallet. So as long as you guys have one of them, even if you don't use my link, I don't care. Protect yourself. There you go. So I do own one book. Oh, it's listed for sale. That's why. All these scam tokens ruining the aesthetics of my wallet. What the frick? So let's check it out. Listings. Guys, we're getting loose today. We're at like the 36 minute mark. Who cares? It's it's Friday? Friday, Saturday night? Yeah. Moose isn't even loose. I'm not even getting loose today. I'm just filming content. Uh, Book.io, Alice in Wonderland audiobook. Somebody buy this. Pick this up, BB. Trying to sell it so I can get more copy. But book, you guys understand it. Book.io, massive play. And fun fact, Amazon in the early days was only a bookstore. So that's number nine. Number 10, we we're just on it. JPEG, JPEG token. Um, so that is going to be this website. So JPEG.store is the number one Cardano marketplace for NFTs. This thing also has their own token. So you can go to rewards. The more you use it, the more you get like tokens. So I do have some. I got 1600 tokens not long ago. Not worth very much, but you guys can go to Dex Hunter, pick one up. Let's check it out. JPEG token. What's the price of this thing? JPEG.io. So comment down below if you guys own any. I guess I, I might have to go on like CoinGecko or something. Um, but if you own the token, I think it's a decent idea. Number 10. Um, but like... When you guys think about Cardano as a marketplace for NFTs, JPEG store is number one. So that's number 10. Don't need to talk about it much more than that. That's all we got. Um, yeah, if you guys want, check out all my other videos. Guys, I've got tons of videos. There's 200, 456 videos. We're nearing 3,000 subs. I'd like to get there by, well, I'd like to get there now, but when that happens, it happens. Um, guys, check out the link tree. There you can go and pick up an Ada plate. This is a project. You can mint one of those on JPEG store. I partnered with Alien Peace Force. They are cheap. They look super cool. They're like nine Ada. Um, so yeah, they're really cool. You can get a random name. And you can also pick up a Crypto Moose, Loose Moose NFT. These are cool. I designed them myself. Um, you are automatically eligible for giveaways on the channel. So six hours ago, one was picked up. Um, man, these are, these are selling well. So it's really cool to see these, uh, come and go. Um, just by owning one, they're super cheap. It brings you closer to this community. Um, also guys, like I said, pick up a treasure, pick up a ledger, pick up whatever hardware wallet you want. This is the best way to hold your crypto. So this is a cold wallet and I have links for you. Save up to 25% off. Um, you're going to need this. So if you hit something big, if one of these picks, if you pick up one of these picks and if it goes nuts, not telling you to pick anything up, but pick up a hardware wallet that I can tell you guys, like if you have 10 grand and you have it on a hot wallet, you can get hacked. But if you have a Trezor or a Ledger or Tangem, then it's much harder to get to your crypto. It acts as an intermediary. Your private keys are held offline. So remember that. We also have online courses. I've built tons of these. I have a free Cardano mini course. Check it out and check out the other socials. This link tree is getting to be too much. The moose is loose. 
We'll see you in the next one.